you, you there, be sure to check out my greatest hit, Echo Let. <laughs> oh, oh, here comes Jabo. Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to Brickzar. Who messed with my camera? We are going to be looking at this pile of bricks here. No, actually, we're going to be building a vintage Lego set, one that I just picked up in a recent haul from Nico from Netherlands Bricks. Netherlands Bricks on Bricklink. He sent me this set, which is 252, the locomotive. And this may be the worst Lego locomotive. <laughs> this has got to be the worst Lego train set. Actually, there's another one, the fantasy train, that may be as bad. Um, and you got some pretty bad alternate builds, too, including this thing, which I have no idea what this... What is that? Hold on a minute. Can you even see that? There you go. I don't know what that is. But, yeah, we're going to be building this. And I'm going to touch on one of the questions that Nico asked uh, just in relation to one part in here. And so this being a vintage set from the mid-'70s, it says 1974 on the... Um, instruction manual not sure if the box has a date on it i should have looked at that a little closer yeah 1974 is the date on the box right there so mid 70s were past the pat pending era so most of the bricks normally wouldn't have pat pending i think or they might well it's possible they still would um these do the ones that I have they would definitely be the ones without the cross supports but there are three bricks before we get to the build of this which I haven't built it yet <laughs> um, I did notice this all right so there were these three bricks in the lot hold on let me come down here so I don't know how well that shows up but this is a typical Lego brick from that era it's got the pip on the side you see that little line there and it's ABS. These are cellulose acetate. I noticed that right away because they got a, a little shine to them that typical Lego brick. I mean, most Lego bricks shine, but these got a different kind of orangish little tint to them. And they have no supports on the underside like this. Now, it doesn't have the, the pin. These don't have the pin, but these are, these are from the 60s. So these are actually older bricks, which I'm cool with. <laughs> getting them but they are cellulose acetate which would not have been in this set so i'm going to replace them with three bricks so um not a problem with the order uh, at all but um yeah these are it's a nice little find for me as a vintage collector actually getting some harder to find parts mixed in uh, with this lot but all the others are um without the cross support and looks like all these say pet or some of this one doesn't have a cross support but that doesn't matter. It's just a minor thing. And so with 1974, you're right at around the time when the pat pending went away. So I'm not really sure what sets would have had it and not had it in 1974. I don't know if I've ever seen a better locomotive. Wow. This is amazing. 1974. I mean, this just blows anything away that's come out in the last 36 years. For, wait, 46 years. That's amazing. It rolls. It's got tires. It's a locomotive with tires. That's what... That's, I mean... What are trains thinking, not having tires? And the building technique, I don't know about you, but this is the building technique I love to see in sets, where you just take a bunch of 2 by 4 bricks and you stack them up and then put a couple of 2 by 2s on the top for extra support. Um, it, it, it tends to work, I guess. They did the same thing here. Just a bunch of 2 by 4 bricks stacked together. And that's what you get. 
to and put this thing back together. It's so complicated of a build. I don't know if I can remember how it goes. There, I think I got it back. Oh, whoops. Broke it. Why is this not going back on? Yeah. Whoops. It's got this nice creaky sound to it. Just what you want to hear when you're in a train. All right. There we go. So I can imagine what it was like that day in the Lego office. Bob had been working on the design for the locomotive for about three months. The deadline was upon him. He needed to have something out there that they could put in for this set. And this is what he came up with. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, somebody got paid to design this. And I, I, I shouldn't throw shade on a designer because they are much better than I am. But um, I don't know. It's not, it's not very good. <laughs> There's some pretty bad building techniques here. And I think some of the things they do, like having these one by twos here, um, is so you can have parts for the other builds. Like they got two one by sixes here. I don't think the two by six had been invented yet. Uh, they use uh, this back clear part, which I don't know why the bench in the back is clear like that, but there's one by sixes. Um, that's the underside. I, yeah, this is just a very odd set. And But the, the thing is, look, it is eight wide. It is an eight wide locomotive. So that's different. And also, the, the, it's wide, the width of the wheels then is also wider than what would fit on a, a train track. Let's try it out. Yep, it's wider. The wheels are wider than the track. It's not going to work. Well, these pieces aren't staying together right here too, too well. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the worst Lego locomotive ever. You do get the two Maxi figures. You get your engineer or driver with the red hat and your woman here. I guess it's a woman with the pigtails and the red top, blue top there. I like these types of wheels, but on cars, not locomotives. The instructions, step one's the easiest. It's just two pieces. And you kind of build by layers, although they'll trick you up and add like two layers. They messed me up right here. <laughs> They added two layers at once, and I, I missed a layer. <laughs> and then they started doing that. They just randomly were adding layers. But, it, I mean, what is up with this build style? I mean, I guess that you were limited what you could do, but just stack a bunch of 2 by 4 bricks in a straight line. I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a book somewhere made by Lego that has that build and a big X through it. Okay. Right, I'm sorry, I'm making myself laugh. So we ain't got this, which predates that by quite a bit. I think this is from the 60s here. I'm not sure what year this is, but um, first page. <laughs> Big X. I literally found exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> What was that? Family Feud? <laughs> <You got it. laughs> I guess not. this set is terrible. It's awful. And I hope the guy's not dead that designed this. You know, I actually don't think they had many designers in the 70s. But come on, man. I mean, I know it's simple bricks. But there are some... I mean, I'm just looking at an older manual here. Look how cool these sets are, even though they're simple. An uh, antique car. It, they're, and I, uh, you know what? Hold on a minute. Calm down, Jabo. You're you're being highly critical because this actually may have been for smaller children's because there's not any small plates in the set. So, in fairness to the crappy design here, um, this probably was intended for a an audience, a user that is, um, yeah, smaller. But um, even some of those sets are a lot cooler <laughs> than this. <laughs> oh. Do you want to see some of the alternate builds? Let's look at the uh, manual. So there's the main build, 252. Now see, now that actually doesn't look half bad. A little antique 
car right there. We got the airplane with a clear propeller. We got a boat. We got a race car of some sort. We got a horse and carriage. Now that's pretty interesting that you could do that. We got the baby buggies and the wheelbarrow. So that's pretty cool with those designs. And then on the actual box itself, which I love the, the vintage boxes because you can open up, store the pieces inside. On the back, we get even more ideas. You can just throw them in a random pile of parts. There's the baby carriage. There's the airplane, antique car we saw, the boat we saw, that we saw. This is new. And that's new from what was on the back. And then even some more ideas on the side like the... Uh, yeah. Oh, is that the same? That is the same race car. <laughs> okay. Just looks funny uh, at that angle. Uh, but anyway, pretty cool. And, you know, I, I threw some shade on this set, but hey, man, I'm the one that bought it. I could look at it, right? The picture's online. It looks exactly like the picture's online. But. <clears throat> So thank you, Nico, for sending me this wonderful set to help me complete my homemaker collection. I don't know if this actually falls in line with the, uh, the homemaker theme. It is under building set with people. But it is listed as a train. It is called the locomotive, and it is the worst Lego train ever made. And whoever wants to fight me on me calling a locomotive a train, come at me. I'll sick Yoda on you. I know he's around here somewhere. But anyway, thanks for watching. I wire my fists. I get my fists like this. I know it's like, you know, like I'm literally going to fight you. I'm not going to fight you. But um, yeah, the big X. <clears throat> See you guys in the next video.